Welcome to this week's recap of The Celebrity Apprentice. Well, we start off the show with Ms. Goslin being pissed at Vivacia. Or Kate and Vivica. <laughs> uh, she kind of threw her under the bus last week. There was the whole thing to like, pay. Kate took too long with her hair getting it in that 40s do. But then they were like, you know what? We have another task coming up. We need to just like chill out, right. mend, mend some fences. So they were all good, pretty much. Right. So this week... They are giving a circle line cruise. <gasps> Sig is tingling. Everywhere. Bet he found his penis that morning. <laughs> I bet he did. <laughs> and it's going to be 100% guest feedback. Yeah, that's going to determine yeah. the winner. So, the project managers. First up, Team Vortex. Obviously, it's Sig. Uh, Trump said if he didn't step up, he would have been fired on the spot. <laughs> Well, I guess he made the right choice. Exactly. And on Team Infinity, it's a tough one though. Brandy. Ooh. Whoa. So they have to host a themed boat tour. Did they just do one? One what do you trip mean? around the uh, thing, or did they have to do a few? I think it was about an hour. They said. Oh, that's it. I think so. So it wasn't like they had to do it all day. No, it was just one trip. All right. Well. Mm -hmm. Team Vortex, let's talk about them. Geraldo right. has Geraldo's big got big ideas. Big plans. As usual, because Geraldo <laughs> always comes up with the ideas. He wants to get some revolutionary war reenactors. He, he can get Giuliani. He's like, yeah, I can get him to come by and say hey. Maybe what? we could find some immigrant type people, or maybe we should just make it the love boat. Yeah, so they went along more with that idea. And they said, sexiest catch without the crab. Yeah, sexiest catch. The only crabs on that boat are on the Hooters girls. Oh, yeah. So the whole time that they were talking out this concept, you had Geraldo and Sig who were like, yeah, yeah, bring on the Hooters. And then on the other side of the table, you had Kate and Vivica who were talking only with their eyes. They were They're... just like. <sighs> yeah. All right. So Geraldo <laughs> is the tour guard. Tour guard. Tour guide. He has to be. He's a little ho. He he likes being he in the spotlight. It. He loves it. And he's got that wealth of knowledge about New York City. Maybe a little bit too much knowledge. Maybe. It was day of the task and Sig was freaking out. Not they were setting up for the task. The bartenders were late, so Sig had to do some he Charlie was work. He was pissed. <laughs> uh, not meatloaf standard freak out. He was pretty but, pissed though at those bartenders. Yeah. And did you see their faces? They were just like. Yeah. <laughs> you better keep that under control. I feel like stuff. that was a bad idea because even if they were late, mm -hmm. someone, no one is going to want to do a good job for someone who yells at you. You know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. So, Geraldo, well, first of all, they had a band. They had the Hooter girls. They they came through. Mm -hmm. Geraldo was the tour guide. They had some crab legs. It seemed like they were having a pretty good time. Sig was like, yeah, we're supposed to be happy. Why are, you know, we got to be happy. And Kate was just like, yeah, we're happy. 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 <laughs> so it was all going great. But then Geraldo, a little too much information, maybe a little bit too political at times. Screw the terrorists. This is the Freedom Tower. Screw the terrorists. Yeah, that didn't go over too well. I'm sure there was, was just, other things too. Yeah, it was just but a little bit much. But then the Coast showed up with an AK-47 on the front of their boat. It's a little menacing. <laughs> kind of cool to see the Coast Guard though. Absolutely. Just like, what's up? All right. Enjoy that boat tour. Team Infinity. That was Brandy's team. Uh, she was assigning jobs before she even had the concept laid out. Yeah, and they were just like, uh, but what are we going to do? Uh, how about Manhattan Mardi Gras? They were having a tough time coming up with a concept, and they landed on Manhattan Mardi Gras, and everyone was just kind of like, yeah. yeah! But then that whole time, Brandy was like, I don't she know. She had a gut feeling that that was the wrong way to go, especially... She doesn't trust Ian, and she doesn't trust Kenya. Yeah, so she was like, they're going to make me do this stupid theme, and it's going to be my fault. That's and right. they're just going to gang up on me. Mm -hmm. So Brandy ends up changing the theme, and she doesn't know what she's changing it to. But, but everyone she changes just like, it. <sighs> but you know what? I think she made the right choice. I think so, too. It really would not make sense to have a Mardi Gras theme in New York City. Right. So Lisa finally comes up with Big Apple Bonanza, which is 
pretty all-encompassing of yeah. whatever you want to do. Yeah, New York. So they had a band. They had a musician. A, a magician. magician. <laughs> Lisa was a tour guide. Hell, she's broadcast journalist. Come I mean, on. come on. She does a fantastic job every time she has to present something. And to top it all off, Kenya performed her song. Oh, my gosh. Can I you can't. Say dirty oh, my gosh. Dance. Just real quick, where would you say this ranks amongst other Real Housewives songs? It is a complete one. I'm sorry, <laughs> but I feel like this has to be at the bottom because at least in the other ones, they're singing. This was talking. This was like on the level with Countess Luann. This was worse than Countess Luann because she had class. She was not writhing around, shoving her pelvis up in the yeah. air. Yeah. Ooh, it took a turn for the what? Yeah. And there were kids on the boat. They were like, and they were just like, what's that? What? All right. Well, it's time for the boardroom. And Trump has an age-old question. Were those Hooter girls beautiful or just okay? <laughs> what? What is going on? in this world. I don't know. Well, it's Trump's world. It's not the real world. All right. So before they found out who the winner was, it was time to just get a feel for what was going on. So they're talking to uh, Team Vortex, and Geraldo is, like, totally crushing on Sig. You thought he liked Kate? Woof. He, he loves Sig. He loved him. So Geraldo, um, we find out he was a great host, and the food was great, but... They didn't like Geraldo's politics little so much. A little too much political stuff going Across on. Across the line a little bit. And with all those boobs, the ladies felt a little bit left out. Maybe they should have had some male servers as well. Should have had some chips. All right, so everything was great on Brandy's team, according to her. <laughs> yeah. And, um, and, and it was all inclusive. I mean, they didn't really polarize anybody out of there. They were basically like, yeah, your theme was really broad, so it didn't leave anyone out. And it was really, eh. But then they were like, yeah, uh, Kenya's performance? Now that was not classy. Oh. But despite that, it sucked less than Sig's team, so Brandy's <laughs> team won. Wow. So I think Brandy got like fifty thousand yeah. dollars for the uh, Make a Wish Foundation. Well, you know Trump likes to throw that cash, and <laughs> so, he did. Yeah. He was like, uh, "Sig, I really respect the Coast Guard, and oh, yeah. I'm gonna give twenty five thousand dollars." Nice. So you know, though, when he does that, it's probably not a good sign for the project manager because they go in. They're not gonna get another chance. All right. Well, it's time to go back to the boardroom for Team Vortex. Uh, basically, Kate said, um... It was shouldn't... Sig's idea to get the Hooters yeah. girls in there. And Geraldo just wanted to be friends with, <laughs> with Sig. This is where afterwards. things got a little weird. Because he was like, Trump was asking Geraldo, are you going to be friends with all these people after? And it was kind of like a weird thing going on. And, and then Kate was like, I don't think his wife's going to be too happy about that. And then Trump was like, whoa, what's going on there? And she was like, whoa, I wasn't saying that. And then he was like, well, it sounded like you were. Kate, you're dirty. <laughs> and she Let was it like, be known. I think you're dirty. Yeah. <laughs> and then she was like, Pfft. Well, at least we know somebody else is seeing what we're seeing. Yeah, well, Sig is fired. So. Oh, I felt bad. Yeah, I did too. Sorry, Sig. Just when he found his wiener. Sorry, Siggy. All right, so Geraldo, he's going to do donate $40,000 to the Coast Guard. He wow. ran after Sig to tell him that. He was like, wait, wait. Wait, Sig, wait. Wait, here's my personal cell phone number. Don't give this out to anyone. It's only for you. <laughs> so that's good for the Coast Guard. Yeah. And it's good Very for cool. Sig. He's got some new friends. Just not the crabs anymore. Aww. <laughs> so what would you guys think of this episode? Who would you have fired, and who would you have picked to win that task? Let us know. And we'll see you next time. Till then, much, much love. love. Edit. Edit.